Today I'm going to talk about tying rubber motors. A rubber motor for an outdoor model is typically made up of multiple loops of a selected width of rubber like 1 8 inch. For example, in the P30 class, the typical rubber motor is 9.8 grams, three loops of 1 8 inch rubber, which comes out to six strands. In Making a rubber motor, you typically pay out a segment of rubber of the desired width onto a scale and cut it so that it weighs close to your target weight. Most people then tie a pair of square knots using the ends of the segments and cut off the tails. Sometimes they place a drop of CA onto the knot. If the rubber motor has an even number of loops, you can fold the one single large loop into two times, four times, six times, twelve times, etc. Different uh, Odd numbers of loops typically requires use of a jig to make up the rubber motor. Uh, when you make up rubber motors for indoor flying, uh, it's a slightly different process. Uh, you need be, to be much more precise about uh, uh, making up the weight of the rubber motor, cutting it to proper length, and uh, tying the knot. Basically, you don't want to waste a bunch of rubber and you want to end up close to the target weight if there is a weight limit in the rubber class such as Science Olympiad flight event where your maximum rubber weight is 2 grams. In 2011 I met uh, Bill Gowan at the uh, Tustin Blimp Hangar and many people know Bill Gowan. He's a terrific flyer, very generous with his time and holds many AMA records and uh, Bill showed me how to properly tie a, a motor for an indoor rubber-powered airplane. And one thing I've learned in this hobby is that when an expert shows you how to do something, do it. Because they've got years and years of experience and they've determined what is best for a variety of reasons. So I'm going to give you a demonstration here of what Bill taught me. And... Uh, it's hard to describe in, in, in words and writing, so I think this video will help. Sorry there hasn't been any action so far, but let's get started. So here I have a segment of 332nd rubber, which I weighed out and put O-rings on and cut it so that it's exactly 1.99 grams, okay? And uh, you'll see I have a couple of O-rings here. These are made of a synthetic material called Buna N. They're somewhat flexible. They're sized just right for penny plane and Science Olympiad Wright stuff and Science Olympiad flight event planes. Uh, these are essential because you need to be able to get a highly wound rubber motor off the hook of the winder and you need to be able to mount, mount the rubber motor on the, the prop hook and the rear hook of the fuselage. So. Here's the rubber motor, and the first thing I'm going to do is lube the ends. I'm using um, Dow Molly Coat 33, also known as Dow 33. This is a pure silicone lubricant, which I highly recommend. You can also use Silglide from Napa Auto Stores. It's about $6. Do not use any lubricant that has petroleum in it, like a WD-40, because that will degrade the rubber. So now I'm holding a couple of segments here. Make sure I'm in screen. I'm going to first just lube about an inch or two here. Got a little bit of extra lube, so let me take that off. Notice I'm not lubing the whole motor. We'll talk about that in a minute. So I want to make sure I'm on screen here again. The first thing I do is I tie a single overhand knot. Now watch me do this overhand knot. Okay? And I cinch it down. Try to keep the ends kind of straight. Now, I squeeze this down like this to get that knot towards the very, very end. I'm darn close there. Now, this time I do an overhand knot the other direction. Tighten it, cinch it down. There, you can see no waste, 
And it's counterintuitive. You'd think that rubber would come undone, wouldn't you? But because the knots are tied in reverse order or reverse direction, they will not come off. If you feel a little bit iffy about that, you can put a tiny drop of CA on there and that will lock that down. But notice I'm not going to have to snip anything off here. Okay. Now, at this point, if I were going to fly this, I would go ahead and lube it. Uh, it's important to understand that under the 2023 rules for the Science Olympiad flight event, uh, the weight of the rubber motor is limited to a maximum of two grams, including any attachments such as these two O-rings. But after, I can lube it after the check-in process, and I would recommend you can do that because that way you can get a couple of extra uh, hundreds of a gram of rubber. And after all, this is what stores your energy. The more energy storage capacity you have, the longer your flight will be. And that's all for this video.